Okay, so first of all, Microsoft just released a new formula in Excel called the Lambda formula. This is currently only available in the beta channel for Office 365. And the Lambda formula creates a function value which can be called within formulas, which basically means that the Lambda formula can be used to make other customized formulas. And there are two different types of values that you put into this formula, either a parameter or a calculation. So the first parameter I will put in will be called x, and then I will add in a second parameter that I will call y, and then I'll put in the calculation, which will be x plus y, and then close brackets. Now, if I press enter, I will get a calculation error, and that is because I haven't actually put any values into this formula yet. What I need to do is add another set of brackets onto the end here and then tell it what I want the x and y values to be. So I want this here to be x and this here to be y. And now if I press enter, it will add these two numbers together. So 1 plus 2 equals 3. And if I double click to send this formula down, it will add up all of these numbers as well. Now, the idea behind the lambda formula is that you use it in combination with a named range. So now that I've created this formula, I will select all of this, except for the last set of brackets, but including the equals sign at the beginning, and then control C to copy, and then press escape to get out of this cell. Then I'll go to formulas and define name and I will create a new named range. The name will be add and then in the refers to box I will delete this and then use control V to paste in the formula I just created and OK. Now that I have done that I can type equals add and find this named range here and then open up the brackets and select my x and y values again and close brackets and enter and now I have created a customized add formula which will add up two numbers. Now let's move on to some more practical examples. So here I have a list of dates and I want to create a formula that will find which season each of these dates is in. There's already a formula to find the month, and so that will get me 1 for January and 2 for February, for example. Then I have a table here with all of the months and then the seasons that I want for them to be. So 1 is January and that's winter, and then 7 is July and that's in the summer. So I will take this month formula here and wrap it in a the lookup formula and I will be looking up the month in this table here and press F4 to make that an absolute cell reference. Then the column index number will be 2 because I want it to tell me what the season is. Then the range lookup will be false or 0 for an exact match and close brackets and enter. And now I have a formula that will tell me what the season is. I can also select the table array here and then press F9 to convert this into actual values. Then I'll press enter and double click to send this down. And then I can delete this table because this formula is no longer referencing to it. Now that I've created the V lookup formula, I'm going to select all of this except for the equals sign at the beginning and control C to copy, then press escape to get out of that cell and now I'll make the lambda formula. So that's equals lambda open brackets. You can call the parameter whatever you want it to be. I'm going to call mine date. And then my calculation will be the formula that I just copied, so I'm going to press Ctrl V to paste that in here. Then I need to add another closed brackets onto the end of this in order to close off the lambda formula. And then this cell reference here needs to be deleted and replaced with the parameter that I just created, so the date. 
Now, if I press enter, I would get a calculation error because I haven't actually put any values into this formula yet. What I need to do is add another set of brackets on the end here and then select the date here and enter. And then if I copy this down, you'll see I get the same results as I did here with just the V lookup formula. Now that I've created the lambda formula, I am going to select all of this except for the last set of brackets, but including the equals sign at the beginning. Then control C to copy and then escape to get out of this cell. Then I will create a new named range and I will call this season. And then in the refers to box, I will use control V to paste in the formula that I just copied. And if I make this wider, you can see the whole of this formula here. And OK. Now I have created a new named range called season. And I can close this. Now if I type equals season and open brackets and select the date here, it will tell me what season this date is in. And I can double click to send this formula down. Now here I have a column with different wind directions in it in degrees and wind directions go from zero to 360 degrees. And then I have a formula here which converts the wind direction in degrees into an actual direction. So S for south and N for north, etc. So for example, here I have 173 degrees, which is about here on the compass, and that direction is south. Now it's not important that you know how this formula works, just understand what it does. So I will copy all of this formula, except for the equals sign at the beginning, control C to copy then press escape to get out of that cell. Then I will make the lambda formula. So equals lambda and then open brackets and the parameter, the value that I will be using is wind direction in degrees. So I'm gonna put DEG here to represent degrees. Then I am going to use control V to paste in the formula that I just copied. And this is my calculation. And then I need to add another set of closed brackets onto the end of this to close off the lambda formula. Then the cell reference here I need to delete and replace with the parameter that I just created for degrees. Now if I pressed enter, I would get a calculation error because I haven't actually put any values into this formula yet. What I need to do is add another set of brackets onto the end of this and then select a cell reference for the wind direction in degrees and enter. And if I double click and send this down, I get all of the same results here as I did for the choose formula. Now I've created the lambda formula. I can select all of this except for the last set of brackets at the end, but including the equals sign at the beginning and do control C to copy, then press escape to get out of this cell. Then I will create a new named range, which I will call wind. And in the refers to box, I will use control V to paste in the formula that I just copied and OK. Now I have a new named range called wind and I can close this and then type equals wind and open brackets, select the wind direction in degrees and close brackets and enter and it will get me all of the different wind directions. Then here I have two columns of data which I am plotting in this chart here and I have a trend line for this data which is a quadratic equation and if I wanted to get this quadratic equation without having to plot the chart and then copy each of these three numbers I need to use this formula here. Again it's not important for you to understand how this formula works, I'm just using it as an example. 
but I am going to copy all of this formula except for the equals sign at the beginning. Control C to copy, then press escape to get out of this cell. Then I'll make the lambda formula. So equals lambda. Then this time I will have two parameters as I have two columns of data and I will call these A and B. Then I need a calculation and I will use control V to paste in the formula that I just copied. Then I need to add an extra closed brackets at the end of this to close off the lambda formula. Then I need to change all of these cell references to one of the parameters that I just made, so either A or B. Now the range that I have that begins B2, I'm going to change to B. And the range that I have that begins A2, I'm going to change to A. So I'm just going to go through and change all of these. And now if I pressed enter, I would get a calculation error because I haven't actually put any values into this formula yet. What I need to do is add an extra set of brackets on the end here and then put in the two ranges for each of my parameters. So all of this column here will be parameter A. And then the second column will be parameter B. And now I can press enter and I will get the same numbers that I got before. Now I've created the lambda formula. I can select all of this except for the last set of brackets at the end, but including the equals sign at the beginning. Then control C to copy and then escape to get out of that cell. Then I will create a new named range, which will be called quad for quadratic equation. And then in the refers to box, I will use control V to paste in the formula that I just created and OK. And now I have a new named range called quad. I can close this and then type equals quad and open brackets. And then I need to select all of this column here, which is going to be A. And then all of this column here, which I called parameter B. And then close brackets and enter. And you see I get these same numbers here. Now at the moment, all of these new formulas are stored in this workbook here, which means I can use any one of these formulas in any of the sheets in this workbook. So I can type wind 360, for example, and it will tell me that that is from the north. If I want to transfer these formulas into a different workbook, I think the easiest way of doing this is to add in a new sheet and then right click on the sheet and move or copy it to another workbook or to a new workbook and OK. And now I have this new workbook here where my new formulas will be able to work. And if I go to formulas and name manager, you can see all of the named ranges that I just created here. Okay, so the Lambda formula is designed to be used to make customized formulas, which means that everyone will use it in slightly different ways. So think about the sort of long complicated formulas that you use on a regular basis and then see if you can make a Lambda formula to replace them. And that is everything.